Kea Simos. And I'm Mike C, executive chef of Kitchen on Fire. And over the next 10 minutes, I'm gonna show both you at home and Tay over here how to make another one of our mouthwateringly delicious and easy recipes. In this episode, we're gonna teach you how to make a truly delicious and authentic Chinese style meal. Well, I am so excited because I absolutely love Chinese food. Well, let's get back to the kitchen so we can get this started. All right, well, I'm right behind you. I love Chinese food, but I'm Me really too. intimidated to make it on my own. What could I possibly make? Oh, what can you possibly make? Yeah. Well, you could totally make here a wonderful takeoff mushu chicken wrapped Ooh. up inside of some Savoy cabbage leaves. So we're going to have a mushu chicken rolls. Okay, well, I hope these turn out good. Oh, they're going to be absolutely dynamic. So shall, shall we get this whole thing started? Yes. Okay. Move these out of the way. To begin with, we're going to... We've already prepped up our little Savoy cabbage here. Our nap cabbage will be fine. And we just cut out the core. And this is going to go into some saltine boiling water. Some? Just some. Okay, lock on our straining lid. And we're going to let that come to a boil, put it to a simmer, and cook it for 10, 15 minutes or so until the leaves of the cabbage become nice and supple so we can roll it up. Great. What about the filling? You ready? I think so. All right, so we're gonna start stir frying our mushu chicken. And first things first, I already have my chef pan here on some pretty good high heat. So we're gonna stir fry. And I got chicken meat here. We can use thigh meat, use breast meat, you can even use ground chicken if you want it. Right. So I'm assuming this is all about technique when you stir fry it. Oh yeah, I'm excited it's all about to learn. Technique. So that's gonna go on the bowl. Get, get rid of that. And stir frying is all about actually stirring things. So we're gonna hold our spatula underhanded. I'm gonna actually toss the meat around. Okay. Doesn't look that hard. Oh, it's really easy. The big thing is to keep it moving. It's like doing saute, because you're always flipping the stuff around, but with saute, you don't usually use your spatulas. This way you get a little help. Okay, so this is gonna take, oh, somewhere in the vicinity of maybe three, five to five minutes, depending on how much meat you have. All right, so this is looking just about done, so we're gonna pull it out of the pan, okay. and we'll finish cooking it with our vegetables. There we go. Okay, yeah, there we go. Hot okay. stuff, watch out. Watch out, man, it's getting hot in here, let me tell you. All right, Woo. so let's put that on the side, and we're gonna continue to stir fry, but it's Okay, turn. Let's look at the Okay, okay. You, got, you got your spatulas ready? Yes. All right, so like getting, so. Perfect. Okay. Get, get in mode, because here it comes. There's some garlic and ginger. We're picking it up. And then we're going to follow that with a little bit of white onion or yellow onion if you like. Ooh, Just cut pretty good. thin. It's smelling we, delicious. It's, 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 oh, it's man. Just onion and garlic. Does your garlic nose right know now. how good it is? Uh, only we do. So here's some shredded savoy cabbage. Okay. And that goes in. You could also again use a napkin cabbage for this. We have our bean sprouts. Making Chinese food. Yeah, you gotta have the bean sprouts. And last but not least, one of our favorites, the sliced shiitake mushroom. And that's gonna go in. Now Tay is gonna wind up continuing the <laughs> stir fry. You got it, girl! Yeah, ah! toss that stuff. Toss that stuff. That's why we have this extra big pan, <laughs> so you can have all this in there. So it's gonna take maybe four, maybe six minutes for all the vegetables to get cooked down just nice and tender. All right, this is looking just about done yeah. here. So I'm gonna add in our chicken that is almost finished cooking. Yeah. And I'll take these from you, Ms. Kaya. All right. And I'm gonna hand you our uh, mitts so that you can go strain out our head of cabbage. Cause that Sounds be like a plan. Done. All right. I'm gonna continue to stir fry here, just finishing off the chicken meat a little bit and get it all incorporated with all the wonderful vegetables that we have in here. Let's finish this off. Okay. So we're gonna pour in a little bit of our chicken stock. Now we'll use it all up. A little sesame oil. Yum. You know, the good stuff. And then take, can you hand me that one? Yeah, which one's this? This is a combination of both oyster and hoisin sauce. If you can only find one at the grocery store, either one would be great by itself. But they're awesome if you can have Ooh, both look at together. That. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah, I get all of that love in there. Perfect. Cool. 
finish stirring this around a little bit, get all that sauce incorporated. And now for the final part to make this as authentic as possible. Now, you know when you go to a Chinese restaurant or you get takeout food, it always has that glossy, velvety style sauce Yeah, it's to kind it. of like a thicker sauce. Yeah, it's way thick and it just yeah. totally coats all of the meat and vegetables and such. And right now it's pretty loose sauce. Yes, it is. So we're going to wind up thickening this up here with a little cornstarch slurry. With just a little cornstarch mixed with water. Okay. This has a fancy term. Don't fancy be frightened. Term, yeah. <laughs> cornstarch, water, equals slurry. And just mix, finish mixing that up. Oh, goodness. Okay, pour all that in. All right. And we're going to stir this around just a bit more. It's like the magic ingredient. And this is going to thicken Oh, right it's like immediately now. thickening. Yeah, it happens just in a few seconds. Okay. Wow. So I'm going to shut off our heat here. That's amazing. And let's actually do these cabbage rolls, shall we? Okay. So after the cabbage is done, we are going to let this wind up cooling a bit. So we burn ourselves with it. And we wind up with our leaves here already nice and supple, so it's easy to roll. So pop one in your hand in this tail. Okay. And I'm going to get yourself a little filling. Come on over. Spoonful. And one more. Whoa. Whoa, put that down on the table. Hot stuff. Hot stuff. Yeah, you can let this cool down if you want <laughs> a little bit. It smells delicious. Alright, I got one for myself here. Okay. Right, put these down. Oh my god, it does smell really good. Okay. We're gonna roll up and over. Okay. Kind of tuck back in a little bit. And we're gonna fold in the one edge. Just it's like, like, it's that. like a burrito. Yeah, just like rolling a burrito. We're gonna finish rolling that down. Good job, girl. Mine looks so, just like yours. I know. She is <laughs> amazing in here. Amazing. I don't know what to do with you. <laughs> so the cool thing is we can get these all done before our guests arrive, well ahead of time. And we can put them into our casserole here and just wind up warming these back up in the oven. There you go. So, so I we can put this piece in the oven? Oh, yeah. It's perfectly safe all the way up to 500 degrees. Oh, so wow. So we have nothing to worry about. So I'm awesome. going to go over to the oven with this, maybe about, oh, a 200, 250 degree oven. Pop this one in, and I already had one hanging out in here because our guests are arriving pretty soon. Take this over. And you know what I love about this, this tail? Yes. So I can take this right out of the oven, and we can go right to the table with this. And what a beautiful presentation. It's so easy. I mean, my friends are going to be so impressed. They're not going to believe that I made an authentic Chinese food. I know, and it's so easy to do. And it's something a little different. Having the cabbage rolls takes the mushu chicken and makes it a creation all your own. I can't believe that I helped make this. You didn't just help me make it. You almost made the whole thing without me. Well, hey, let's have some tea. Yeah, a little tea to go along with our lovely cabbage rolls. Here, here you go. And if you folks want to learn more on how to make great meals like this one, Go check out Circulon.com. So see you next time. Bye for now. Bye. Gonna chow down on this. Bye.